Hey everyone, Demos here. I'm doing a quick playthrough video for the third level of Children of a Dead Earth. Um, yeah, uh, for some of you that are running into issues in terms of the out of plane uh, maneuvering or how to disable the enemy ship uh, with the drones, uh, this will kind of show you how to do it in a fairly quick fashion. There's pretty much just a few things you need to know. Uh, number one is you need to match their orbit. Um, doing retrograde or in one of my previous cases I did it at like a tangential orbit. I kind of dropped on them. It was still, it's still pretty much a flyby and your drones, um, they're just, they're not accurate enough. They're not, um, they're not powerful enough to knock out the, uh, the enemy ship in the short amount of time that you give them. So you need to first uh, match the orbit of uh, the enemy ship. I believe it's a cutter. Um, and to do that, you're going to need to do uh, the out of plane maneuvering. Uh, here I kind of show you how to do it. The uh, top left button um, does wonders, at least for me, in terms of giving you the blue overlay, and then you can manipulate the uh, thrust directions so that uh, you pretty much want to <clears throat> put the blue line overlapping the enemy ship um, of course if they're the uh, reference and then once you get the uh, dark blue line overlapping them then you want to switch over to a different uh, thrust toggle and uh, and then pull it up or down to, uh, to bring the cyan line onto them um, that doesn't always work. Um, on this level, if you do it wrong, uh, you can also get stuck in some weird, uh, some weird orbits that go all over the place because you guys are so tight around Mercury. Um, yeah, here I pretty much show you going through setting the orbit up. This is to get onto the same plane that first thrust and then I'm actually going to adjust that same thrust so that I can match them uh, looks like here I go back and I'm uh, trying to see if there's anything I missed in terms of uh, do I have to lo leave them alive um, anything like that but it pretty much looks like I just need to it's important to send just the drones in if your capital ship enters the same area as him before he's disabled he'll just he'll cut you to pieces been there done that uh, yeah so now I've got myself pretty much lined up uh, Here I'm going to dump out all the drones, and then this part is pretty important. Once I select the drones and then create that trajectory to intercept the uh, enemy, it uses about, I think, one, one kilometer per second? Yeah, 1.1 kilometer per second. So that should be your total burn, or, you know, as long as you get in the ballpark, that means that your drones have enough fuel, and you can kind of use that number as a reference, like, that means that the speed that you're approaching them at, you're not retrograde, anything wonky like that. Um, it should be a very smooth intercept. Um, you start getting up to like three or four. I believe that's getting close to the limit of your drone's fuel. And uh, yeah, you'll just do a flyby and your drones won't be able to take off. So this is my drones. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. Target the weapons. Um, and then your guys just come in, they start dumping out, and uh, this guy's not a laser, laser frigate, so he can't really handle that. Within the first barrage, he's, uh, he's toast. So, I could have gotten lucky in some of this, but uh, yeah, just try to match your orbit first um, from changing your uh, orbital inclination, and then uh, Try to uh, try to line them up so you kind of come, uh, you can kind of orbit phase into them. Dump your drones out as close as possible, and then make sure that your drones uh, don't have. They're not using too much fuel to uh, do the intercept, and hopefully it goes great for you.
Uh, good luck, guys, and until next time.